friends. Welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I live in Louisiana and I am so grateful that you stopped by for a visit today. So why don't you grab yourself a drink, maybe a snack, and a project to work on and let's visit. Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I hope you're all doing good on this Whip Wednesday. <clears throat> so tell me about your whip. What are you working on today? What do you have going on in your life? Are you working on a crochet project? Are you working on a diamond painting? A knitting project? A loom net project? <laughs> Maybe you're having cooler weather and you can go outside and work in your garden or something. But let us know what you got going on and what you're working on today. <clears throat> today I am going to work a little bit on this slouchy hat that I am making with this Karen Cotton Painterly Cakes. And um, the cake itself is beautiful. I love these colors. Um, I'm not always a muted color girl, but I did like this muted pink and yellow and the off-white together. And then it has a little bit of a sunny, I know, a gold, muted gold in there. It's this color right here that it'll get back to. But I am disappointed that <laughs> most of this hat is the off-white. I was really hoping it would change to the other colors as I was working on the hat. Which is not happening. <laughs> and so, um, I have been slowly working on this hat. I keep this right here on my desk. And I've been working on it as I can. You know, in between projects. And just picking it up and putting a few stitches here and there. I have not worked on it consistently. Or, you know, I haven't put that many miles in it a day. Just a little bit. But I thought I would pick it up and work. Oh, it's going to change to the pink. <laughs> it's the little things, y'all, that excites us, right? Um, but I thought I would pick it up today and work on it some for Whip Wednesday. This is a hat I was making for myself because I wanted um I wanted a summer hat with lots of holes and I wanted it cotton. So that that was my plan. Now to get these lots of holes, <laughs> I'm working with a 6 millimeter hook. My finger hook that was gifted to me by a lovely subscriber. And so, um, using my 6 millimeter hook. And this cotton yarn is a 4 weight. <clears throat> it's a thin 4 as cottons usually are, right? And so... To get that stick, to get a stitch, no sassy, don't get up here. To get a um, stitch that leaves holes, I'm doing a V-stitch, which is a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet back in that same little spot. And as I'm uh, going around, I'm doing that in each V-stitch. Every time, you know, wherever I did a V-stitch the row before, that's what I'm doing in that little chain one space. But, okay, since I've, you know, lost that last finger in March, crocheting has just not been flowing for me. It's been more of a struggle, and it's just not as easy as it used to be. Sassy's insisting she comes on up here. She's been in the chair beside me, but she's insisting that um, she should be front and center so I can see her. <laughs> no, she, I've been sick for about two weeks now. This is the second week I've been sick, <clears throat> and she's just been super clingy, which is fine. I love her. I don't care if she's clingy. Well, no, she changed her mind. She said, well, if you're going to talk about me like that, I'll just get back in the chair. <laughs> so she's back in the chair laying here beside me. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, you know, crochet just hasn't been coming um, as natural, or I don't know the word I'm looking to say, 
it's just been a struggle and a slow go and it just doesn't flow now I can do a double crochets I've got the rhythm down for that so if I'm doing a granny stitch I can do those three double crochet clusters pretty well uh, I've you know got that licked it's this you know doing a double crochet and then a chain and then a double crochet <clears throat> and I'm using a you know a big hook with a thin yarn and it's just not coming uh, as it's, it's a struggle let's just say that <laughs> when it shouldn't be but it is just because of my crochet situation but I'm still working on it you know it's like I said it is a bit of a struggle and just not going as smoothly as I wish But, um, yeah, I'm still working on it. It's just taking me a long time to do things now, which I hate. <laughs> I hate that it takes me so long to do things because you don't want to see the same project over and over. And that's why I'm trying to just switch out projects that I'm working on and work on this one day and then may not come back and work on it again for a week. Just because, you know, I don't want to show you the same project every day. That gets boring for me and you. Right? So, I'm at the end of this round. And wouldn't you know, Sassy's going to go over there. She jumped down and she's over there digging in the cat litter box. It almost never fails. Like... Some word I'm saying on here triggers her to go potty. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but she always has to go potty and claw around in that litter box. My litter box uses those pellets. <clears throat> and so it's a very clean litter box, thank goodness. Um, and she just, she really does like to dig around in those pellets, though. I think she likes the noise. Anyway, I'm jumping all over the place, aren't I? <laughs> in our conversation. Sorry about that. Um, so, as I start a new row, I'm going to chain four. Because that would be my double crochet plus my chain space in between and I'll go back in that same spot <clears throat> and do a double crochet and that would be my first v-stitch for this row and I am going to go ahead and put a stitch marker right there in that v-stitch so when I'm crocheting if I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing I'll know that hey I'm at the end of the row because sometimes when I'm watching a show or running my mouth, I might would just crochet up to there and just jump over that and just keep crocheting. I've done it on blankets before. So sometimes I use that, especially when I'm not feeling well, because that's when I'm more likely to make mistakes. Which is all the time. That's when I'm not feeling well all the time, right? <laughs> anyway guys um it is going to change to the pink but it's a little too late <laughs> i wish it had changed to the pink up here and then went to the yellow and you know but it is what it is so i've cleaned off my desk a little bit the clutterness that I had going on up here was driving me a little bit crazy so I did clean off my desk um, or just move things around so it looked neater and um, I did not I did not weave in my ends on this yet because I don't have a needle in here a little um, yarn needle they're back there in my yarn room, and when I get up and go to that part of the house, a needle is the last thing on my mind. <laughs> so I still have these two that I haven't weaved in the ends. <clears throat> but I do like the way this these three greens turned out with that black 
border. So I like that. So I just stuck those over here on my desk and I have my um, sore throat spray. Now I carry this around with me. If I go lay down in the bed, I take this and put on my nightstand so that I have, um, you know, I spray before I lay, when as I lay down before I go to sleep and then I'll wake up my throat will be hurting so bad. I'll spray some more, you know. So, and then I have, um, I have these Gerber snacks for a baby and they are for a crawler eight plus months. And these are vanilla. I had, a, I can't remember what kind I had before. Maybe apple cinnamon. I think those, these don't taste bad, but I don't think they're my favorite. I think maybe the apple cinnamon or something that I'd had before might have been better than this one. <clears throat> but if you're new here and you don't know, I have a long list of chronic illnesses. Unfortunately, I hate it. But it's part of my life, and so now it's part of yours. <laughs> because you clicked on this video, you get to know all the deets. Um, I do have a feeding tube in my stomach, and um, it's a peg tube, it's a dangler, and... Um, Sometimes, I mean, all the time, all the time, not sometimes, scratch that, all the time, I just want something to eat. And these um, just melt in your mouth and give you some flavor. Um, I know they're baby snacks, but it's hard to find adult snacks that just melt in your mouth. I'm always on the look, on the, you know, looking for something. So if you know of something that just... You can just pop in your mouth and it just kind of gives you some flavor and melts. And it's not something that your esophagus has got to try to get down. Let me know. Let me know because um, I'll sure pick it up next time I go to the grocery store. Even if it's Walmart when I go back to steal some more sour cream. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a joke from a previous video, okay? <laughs> Earlier this week, actually. But anyway, if you do know, do know of something that just melts in your mouth, but gives you some flavor, kind of makes you feel like you're eating something when you're not, <laughs> let me know. So I usually keep some of these in here. Sometimes I have some, something like that in there by my bed. Um, and a protein drink because um, sometimes you just want something, you know. Especially when you're so hungry. Uh, anyway, let me get back to crocheting on this instead of eating. <laughs> really, there's a nothing to eat. You don't even chew those; they just melt in your mouth and dissolve. But the flavor, you know. I'm doing it for the flavor and just for the fact that it makes you feel like you ate something. I did get some Italian ice the other day at Walmart. The little cups. But most of those have lemon. Um, so I'll give Big Daddy the lemon one. And then I'll eat the strawberry one or whatever. Um. To get him a key lime pie, and I'll be able to eat some of that. But my problem is things that I, you know, am able to eat is sweets or carbs. Like I can eat mashed potatoes, okay? But that's a carb. What does carbs do? Yes, we all know. We don't have to go over it. I can eat ice cream. Um, can eat some applesauce. Pudding. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, Jello. Yeah, most everything I can eat has a lot of sugar in it. So I'm, I'm not worried about that though because, hey, I'm not going to deny myself 
everything just because it's got some sugar in it. And I'm not diabetic. And I cannot eat sugar-free anything because of the um, aspartame. And that and makes me really, really sick. So, yeah. That's just, that's just life. Just sharing some life with y'all. <laughs> oh. Big Daddy did go to work today. He, he still feels really bad. He said he feels like crap. But he said he had to go to work today because he's got some stuff. He's got a deadline coming up. And thankfully, he was ahead of schedule. And But he does have a deadline coming up that he needs to um, work on and get to that, get it, you know, finished. But he was ahead of schedule, so he didn't feel bad about having to take off two days because he was so sick. But he said, I got to go in today because, um, you know, he's got that deadline coming up. But anyway, um, he, he still feels pretty bad, and I still feel pretty bad myself, but um, trying to push forward. Got up a little bit to um, just crochet. I didn't sleep last night. Um, I, did, I had went in there and tried to sleep, but I was just miserable, and I knew he was going to go to work today. And I didn't want to keep him awake, so I got up. I couldn't sleep anyway. My my best friend, Angela, um, we've been friends since we were in fourth grade. She's my ride or die. Um, her puppy is sick. She's 13 years old. And Angela woke up last night and found Pebbies at the foot of the bed she had um lost control of her bowels and she was burning up hot and just lifeless angela thought she was gone when she saw her she grabbed her up took her to the bathtub and immediately put her in some you know water trying to cool her off because she was so hot and she called her brother to come to come get her and take her to the um, the emergency vet, so her brother and his wife came over, and they went up to the emergency vet, and, um, they kept her and put her on IV, and so they kept Pebby's overnight, and I guess they said that she, her white blood count was up, and she did have a, um, infection somewhere, but they don't really know what's going on. They put her on an antibiotic and kept her overnight with fluids. And then Angela went and picked her up this morning. So I was worried about that. Worried about pebbies. And also, you know, for Angela. Now, her pup is 13 years old. Angela's not naive. She's She knows that time is limited. And that just, you know, breaks my heart for her. Because we love our pups, you know. They're our children. When your pup is in your house with you and do er you do everything with that dog every day, um, yeah, they become like your your child, part of your family, and just um. So say a prayer for Angela and Pebbies, if you don't mind. I hope that, um, she's got her at home now, and I hope that she, you know, starts to feel better. It's hard. Y'all know it's hard when you lose a pet. Breaks my heart. i tell you what else breaks my heart, and I wasn't going to mention this, but... I might as well. I don't usually talk about other YouTubers on my channel. Um, I don't. I, I don't really even mention a lot of other YouTubers too much. But my heart broke for Creative Grandma. That is so horrible. If you didn't see her little five-minute video, you need to check that out. Just say a prayer for her, because I can just imagine. You know. 
we all have stuff going on in our life that is a struggle that's taking up our time and energy you know mine is my chronic health I'm dealing with that constantly every day um, you just see me come to my desk and crochet you don't see the rest of my day you don't see all my struggles I can tell you about it sometimes but that does not even compare with seeing my breakdowns and just you know things going on well creative grandma is she's dealing with her mom and I can't remember how old she, if she even said her mom's age or not but she is um was at the doctor's office with her mom all day if, if I remember correctly what she said and then she came home to find out some idiot used her email in some kind of scam and people are thinking that it's her and um I could just I cried right along with her I mean she didn't just sit there and bawl and you know but you could tell she was trying her best to hold it back bless her heart oh my gosh bless her heart that is so horrible that someone would do that she has worked so hard on her channel as all youtubers do it is not easy putting out all the you know all the videos and she does tons of tutorials and yeah and for somebody to just come along and try to sabotage her that really just makes me so mad breaks my heart for her so I'm praying for her that you know she can get past this and that people will know she says she got a ton of nasty comments and replies or whatever she got a lot of nasty feedback from that but I feel like anyone who has watched creative grandma knows that that is not her but people's calling her a scammer and all this kind of stuff you know and that that's just horrible I, don't, I wasn't supposed to chain one there that's just horrible and it breaks my heart for her to put in all that hard work on her channel all these years and then this to happen and people you know calling her a scammer and saying they're reporting her and all that bless her heart isn't that horrible She's not leaving YouTube. She's just saying, be be aware that there are scammers out there doing this stupid stuff. If you get an email, do not click on links. That was her message, you know. And that that's my message, too. I don't even check email because it's so much spam. I get emails from Jesus all the time. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus, if you want to reach me, don't email me. <laughs> but I do get a lot of spam also. Um, and I have several email addresses. And they all, like, they all come to the same inbox. And they're all nothing but spam. It's just, and YouTube is, I'm not YouTube. Facebook is full of so much spam. Don't click on links on Facebook either. Unless you know that person is really well, giving you a link to something that you want to see. Because most of the time you click on something on there and I've heard that you get um, a, a page pops up that you can't click out of. And it tells you do not restart your computer and all this kind of stuff but really that's the scam I don't know I don't I don't click on links from anybody not even my husband he can tell me when he gets home from work <laughs> in email you know an email or something because yeah It's just so much hatefulness out there. And I don't know, like, what kind of joy enjoyment does people get from 
tearing up somebody's computer with a link that's going to, you know, like tear up their computer. That would not bring me joy. That would make me sad as can be that somebody's computer's messed up. Like, I'm real... I feel what you feel. You know what I'm saying? If you feel bad and you're upset, then I'm upset with you. <laughs> That's just the way I am. And I just can't imagine hurting someone on purpose. But the world's full of those people. It is. So we have to be careful. Um, and I also have seen, I've seen this going around. And it's a good thing I don't click on links because I get these emails all the time. It's companies that will email you wanting you to do such and such, you know, for their business. And, and they'll send you a link to go look at their products. But when you click on that link, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how this works, but they'll send you like maybe a contract or some kind of link or something that you need to go and look at. And, um, when you click on that link, some way or another, they're able to take over your face, your YouTube. So that's one reason why I am very careful about links and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, in Creative Grandma's message is don't click on links. Yes, do not. Unless you absolutely know that person was sending you something. And you know they haven't been clicking on links. If they're not click happy, then they might be safe. But, yeah. It's just the way it is. Uh, yeah, I, I, that pink looks so pretty around that. I do like that ivory and then that pink. Looks kind of delicate. You know what I'm saying? It has that little delicate feel. Maybe even a um, vintage feel. I was going to say Victorian. Maybe even a little vintage feel of these colors. And that, all that ivory, and now it's got a little touch of pink. So anyway, I hope that this does turn out nicely. I wanted this to be a slouchy hat. So, I'm not there yet, by all means. <laughs> i got about a hundred more rows <laughs> to do on this. So, yeah, what all you got going on today? Tell me what's going on. Over there in your world, it is um hot here. That's all I know. I'm not going out. I do not feel like going out. I've just been in the bed. I get up. To use the restroom, get something to drink, which I do keep something to drink by my bed too. But to refresh my drink, get a refill or whatever, and I might sit down here for a moment until I just can't stand it, and then I go lay back down again. But that's, you know, that's part of having a chronic illness anyway. And part of whatever it is I have going on, the sickness that me and Big Daddy are dealing with. I mentioned in, I guess it was yesterday's video when I was working on these squares, I said I had trust issues. And I had three people to say something about that. <laughs> I do, I do. I don't trust people. People have taught me not to trust them, if you want to know the honest truth. And, um, yeah, I have a handful of people that I allow to get close to me. 
honestly, because um, you just can't trust people nowadays. And as far as YouTubers, I'm not going to name names, but there's only two YouTubers that I totally trust. They are both big channels, bigger than me channels. And um, I'm not going to mention who they are, but they are both someone that I feel is trustworthy. But yeah, I, I do have trust issues with my yarn <laughs> and with people. Everybody's out for themselves. Let me just say that. Uh, now I got a big old knot right here. Let me see if I can get this out without making it worse. That's what I usually do when I try to get a knot out. I'm usually just making it worse. Instead of actually figuring it out. <laughs> uh, I don't want to pull that because it would make it tighter. Well. that Let me see. I might have it. If I don't get it, yeah, I think I got it. I was going to say, if I don't get it, I'll just let that rest and see if Big Daddy can get it out later because I don't want to make it worse. It must have come out of that skein already. It must have come out of the cake knotted up because... I just pulled that out of the cake. Let me see what I can do right here. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to pull that tight. See what I got going on here? Now, 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 I got it. Alright, there's my chain four. And then my double crochet back in that same chain one space. I do like this pink. And maybe it does look good with most of, you know, the hat. The off-white. And then just touching this, um... Touching on this pink down here at the bottom of it. I don't know how much more I've got to go. But I am going to try it on my head and see if it's to a point. I, I don't think it is. I don't think it's long enough to be a slouchy hat on me yet. Um, but we will see. I'll try it on after this row. And see how that looks. And about how many more miles I need to go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put my stitch marker back in there. So I don't lose that first one. Alright guys, well I'm going to let you all get going. Look, I hope you have a wonderful day. I've enjoyed just chatting with you guys and just... Um, you know, just telling you what's going on in my world, and can't wait to find out what's going on in your world. So let me know in the comments, whatever you got to say. Let me know. I'm here. I'm here for it. Alright guys, remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet. It is a beautiful day to enjoy your life. It's a beautiful day to do any kind of hobby that you have. But also remember, if you're in the United States, stay cool. If you're somewhere else where it's already cool, stay warm. Keep comfortable. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye friends.
Thank you so much for watching, friends. Again, I realize there's so many YouTube videos out there. You could have clicked on any video. And I'm honored that you clicked on my video to spend some time with me. That means so much to me. And I'm glad to spend my time with you guys. Thank you for watching.